And welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction, Leicester City 3, Man United 1. I could not believe it. What did you just witness? What did you bloody see? What did you witness? What I witnessed was an absolute shit show. What I witnessed was an absolute diabolical shambolic and absolute piss poor performance from United. I mean, what the heck? Really? Really? What is really going on? You ask yourself. Just when, just when you think, just when you think United are beginning to just make some tiny progress, baby steps, then they bring out this shit show, this absolute stank. Oh, you went to Milan, you got a result. Hey, boo hoo. That was an individual performance. If you keep playing a tactic that does not work, then change it. As soon as possible. Not sit with it, smell it, inhale it, let it sting the whole place up. Then, oh, maybe I should change it. That, no, that's fucked up. Now, that is fucked up. The point of the matter is this. As you can see, he played Pogba, he played Van der Beek, he played Matic. But you're playing a team in a diamond. Which does not work, has never worked. This just reminded me of the Man United RB Lysing game, the PSG game. Because it was an absolute disaster. Absolute disaster. I mean, I cannot emphasize, I cannot emphasize how pace poor, how pathetic this team was. Because it was absolutely unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable at this point. Right, I'm back. For that sorry, uh, sorry uh, uh, intermission. This is where we are today. We get knocked out in the quarterfinals. The draw was to meet Southampton in the semifinals. At least get to the semifinals. Instead, you digress. Last season, semifinals. This is the quarterfinals. But yes, you say winning a trophy, it does not mean it's a good season. Fuck you. Fuck that shit. Because that's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Because the fact of the matter is this, Ole. What you ain't getting is... You take up two creative players and bring in McTominay. You bring in Bruno. So you take two out and bring in one. So Bruno, who is he going to play with? Fred? McTominay? Who don't fucking know what to do or pass the ball forward or sideways? Fred today should have been removed. I mean, resubstituted. He's not taking out McTominay. He's not taking out Pogba and, uh, 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 uh what's his name? Uh, uh, Van der Beek, you take off, uh, you, you leave on Fred. How is that funny possible? I was baffled. Me, 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 the United fans are like, huh? How the hell does Fred still stay on the field after that shit show? M Maguire, you pass a ball to a guy who has his back to Leicester defend, uh, attackers and who does not even know how to pass and his pass leads to the goal. Absolutely, that was sign number one that this guy is having a nightmare. Second goal. You let Tillemans run through Matic. Matic is jogging beside him like a, a male escort taking some to go and have a shag. Then he goes through there. Fred doesn't tackle. He pretends to tackle but doesn't do nothing. And the guy shoots. Henderson should have done better. I don't know. I don't care. I think Matic and Fred fucked up the second goal. The third goal. Honestly. For fuck's sake. Honestly. If you bought any of your play football. What do they tell you? Always be aware of who is around you. None of us are professional footballers because I played up to when I was in university. But to say I wouldn't see this guy or even try to distract him. I mean, McTominay should look at himself in the mirror and like, you know, I fucked up. Because end of the day, these players are shit. They can't pass. They can't pass. They can't play. They can't create. They can't pass long. They can't. They only pass sideways. And the truth of the matter is this, the only reason United are kept clean sheets is because we have a BSS, a babysitting services in McFred sitting in front of a back two of Lindelof and uh, 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 Maguire. That's the only reason we have been keeping clean sheets. We can't create. How many chances did Marcel get? How many chances did the Grace Mason get? One. How many chances did the Cavani get? None. Because there's no creativity going forward. Them two fools cannot pass to save the fucking lives. We saw Fred. His day was getting worse. Take the guy off. Just like he didn't take the guy off against uh, uh, a PSG and got sent off. Take the guy off because the guy was pissed poor. And that is why United are today. Ole cannot figure out. Ole cannot vision. Ole cannot see what is going on. He sits there looking like, 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 like a, a daring head. Like, like uh, what do I do? What do I do? Fuck you. Get the shit done. Why take off Van der Beek and Pogba? 
If you had them to still on with Bruno, then you would have got more creativity for the players to come and score. But you take off them to bring on McTominay. How is McTominay going to get you a goal? Or create a goal? With Fred, they're just going to sit back at the BSF babysitting service in front of the back four. Make it a back six. At that point, you need a goal. Not defend a goal. You need a goal. So I don't get this. I do not fucking get this piece of shit we saw today. It was a shit show. Fred had a shit show. One of my friends in the UK, I'm not going to name him. Most of you have seen him on my show before. He said, Fred is not Brazilian. He's from Angola. He is shit. I will say today, I agree with what you said, brother. Fred is shit. He cannot pass to save his life. Why he plays 90 minutes at these days, you begin to wonder, what the fuck is really going on? Because this today, it was a shit show, but it was a shit show that started to stink. You know when you st shit starts to ooze the room up? And that's how it was today. This was absolutely shambolic and double. All I need to take responsible. Yes, the individual mistakes were there, but you got to understand the tactics was wrong. The personnel was wrong for this diamond wasn't going to work. You bring on four changes. Oh, he brought on four people. Yes, four players. But the wrong four. Why not start with your best? Then with time, get the game in control. Then you can change. Not start with a poor lineup. Then try and change it when it's too late. No, this is Leicester City. There ain't a stupid team. Brandon Rodgers Brandon Rogers did a better team. Uh, in Diddy and Tillemans literally ran the show. Literally ran the show. Fred couldn't even stream past it. There was one time Martial and Fred were running side by side. This fool, all he needed to do was pass the ball to his left. He passed it to a Leicester player. I mean, for fuck's sake, are you blind or stupid or just deaf? Which one is it? Because I'm not comprehending where a player of his own caliber, his own experience, cannot make a super pass to your left or to your right. I mean, come on. Is it that bad? Then quit. Just fucking quit. Because this my brothers, my sisters, my fellow United family was a shit show that stank. There's some shits that stink, there's some shit that like, mm, no, just a little whiff. This actually oozed the rum. The root started to ooze. It started to stink. It was a stench. It smelt. Now you're out of the FA Cup. You now want to now say, oh, measuring winning the FA Cup doesn't show a significant change showing that you improved the season. Fuck that, fuck that bullshit. United is built on winning trophies and finishing as hard as possible. Not, oh, we don't need to win a trophy. No, fuck that shit, bro. You need to win a trophy. Marino won a trophy. Even Joyce, uh, Moise won the charity shield. Van Gaal won FA Cup. Marino won League Cup, Europa Club, and the charity uh, community shield. What have you won? It looks like you ain't going to win anything this, minute, this season, mate. Because this is some bullshit. Absolute bullshit. If you're watching our video, don't forget to smash a like, drop your comments about this shit show, this shit fest we just witnessed that United have been humiliated, tormented, terminated, bruised and de deposited out of the FA Cup for this year. It looks like uh, City are about to win the quadruple. I hope they don't. They've got League Cup final on next week, next, next, next month. They've got Chelsea in the FA Cup. Hope Chelsea could do what they need to do and get these guys out of the way. They already won the league title. They're trying to win the league. They're trying to win the Champions League. And Ole can see all this, but still hasn't got the balls or the gall or the effrontery or the audacity to put the right team out to get a result against Leicester. I'm not saying Leicester didn't play well. They played some good football. Tillemans and Ndidi, they bust at midfield because you have Matic, who is slower than a crippled, uh, slower than a crippled turtle. You have Fred, who's a man who looks like he's blind for them, playing hide and seek in the playground with blindfolds because he cannot see for save his life. He needs to go to spec savers and go and get his eyes tested because that today was a shit show. I'm Tim Ross, your host, on a very disappointing day that United were booted out, tossed out and thrown into the garbage can, can of this year's FA Cup. I'll see you guys during the week for match reactions, further discussions. There's international break this week, so we'll talk more. I'm Tim Ross, your host. For me, it's goodbye and good night.